Join us for day three of our unicorn fest adventure. Today we're starting at Bristol Parkway, where you can catch the 73 bus to see unicorn Eucophidisa amanzi at Frampton Cottrell. But today we're off further afield using the cross-country train to find two very special unicorns. This train journey offers some truly stunning views as we head to our seaside destination. We're at Western Supermare and we're kindly welcomed by Tristan and this really cool lighthouse garden. We then headed over to the Grand Pier, naturally stopping off with some fish and chips to enjoy on the seafront. And as we entered the Grand Pier, we found their unicorn, Sandy, decorated by Paula Bowles, who was inspired by the carousel horse design. We then stopped off for some fun in the arcade before heading to Tiffany's for some delicious afternoon tea. It was some really good cake, I highly recommend. After we were completely stuffed, we planned our route to the next unicorn on our adventure. We hopped on the X1 bus, which is a great connection back into Bristol, and we made it to our final stop for the day, Puxton Park. We didn't even know you could get here by public transport. After a lovely walk, we found Goldie Horn, painted by Jenny Urquhart, who was inspired by the colourful Southwest. The park has some magical unicorn themed activities on at the moment, including this fresh unicorn milk and some fab treats at the farm shop. This park is so accessible and family friendly. No visit to Puxton is quite complete without seeing the animals. Lau made a friend and I held a snake. The cows were the star of the show and were delightfully friendly. We could have stayed here all week, but we've got to catch the bus home now. Until next time!